This demonstration showcases Allscripts Enterprise PM charge and registration import capabilities. We'll start by importing charges. Select Financial Processing and Automatic Transactions under Practice Management. Next, we'll select the Import Charges tab. We'll then select the Mosaic HL7 Charge Import Information Broker format. Select all exchange dates, then query for charges available for import. Notice the first set of charges in the list have exceptions. We will then right click to validate the charge and fix exceptions. In this case, the procedure code and type of service sent by the vendor could not be identified in the corresponding AEPM dictionary. We can manually bridge this procedure to the corresponding AEPM value by clicking on the binoculars and searching for the corresponding procedure code in the Allscripts dictionary. We'll search by procedure description and key in the name of the procedure as sent by the vendor. We'll then select the corresponding procedure found in the dictionary and then hit OK. We will then save the changes and we are now ready to import as no errors show. We can then right click the set of charges and select process import charge. Notice that we must specify the transaction date and batch number before importing. Once specified, we can then right click and select process import charge. We are alerted that a batch exists with the same number. We are then presented with Allscripts PM Companion and can now complete charge entry. Next we will cover automatic registration import. Under practice management, expand patient management and select automatic registration. Next select mosaic new patient demographics information broker format. Choose all exchange dates, then query for available registrations for import. Notice that this registration has exceptions. We'll then double click to address the exceptions. This registration generated exceptions due to failed carrier linking. By clicking on the binoculars, we can manually bridge carrier linking issues. We can search the AEPM carrier dictionary for the corresponding values. In this case, we'll search by carrier name, and then manually select a match. We can do the same for the second carrier which generated an exception. We'll then click save to apply the changes. We can then validate the registration. Again there are no errors. Lastly we can register the patient now. Thank you for viewing the demonstration. Please contact us via our website with any questions.